tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today is monday august i want to say 6th or 7th i think it's the 7th and mondays are normally my rest day but lately i've been just like putting my pedal putting the pedal to the metal with like just taking out mondays as my days to film content and then my other off day which is wednesday is my wig when my wig wednesday so sometimes i work on wigs but if i don't have no wigs to work on that's when i'll schedule my content and stuff like that so today this video i'll be showing you guys what's in my wig cart i used to have a suite but i no longer have a suite i work in a full service salon now but i don't have no space at the salon to work on my wigs so i work on my wigs and stuff from home so i have a cart that i keep all my wig supplies on and so when i'm ready to work on stuff i just pull the whole cart into the living room and work on whatever i need to work on so let's get into it now I have this area lit because I'm going to be filming content on my smaller business and on my business phone so I can make a TikTok video. Um, and so I took everything off the cart and I laid it out on my island. I threw away stuff that I'm no longer using. It's still some stuff over here that I don't necessarily use, but you know, you just never know. So let's go through it. These are my wig tags that I put on my wig caps. To personalize them this is just some extra hair and bundles that i keep um after i make wigs just in case you just never know um so inside of here because i'm filming holding my phone in one hand these are like my bundle labels so i keep those on the cart i have a pack of wig caps i get these from amazon then i have my hd wig caps I get these from my packaging vendor. Um, so this is just some tissue paper. I don't necessarily use the tissue paper as much because I have customized tissue paper. But I also barely use that. So I think I'm going to take out tissue paper. I'm going to use what I have now. And then I'm going to take it out just so I can save some money. Because I'm not really using it like that. Um, so these are my silk drawstring bags that's got, that I put my bundles in when I'm packing them up. Um, for pickup orders, I don't necessarily do it for when I'm boxing the orders because when I'm shipping them out because it's silk lining inside the packaging. Um, these are my up oh, here go my customizable paper tissue paper. Um, so these are my custom shipping bags. So I pack up orders and ship them in these. Before that, I was just using plain pink bags. So that's the thing, like if you're just starting, you don't always have to make sure that everything is customized because like I said before, I was just getting everything off Amazon. So I used to just get a bulk of pink because pink is my brand color, a bulk of pink um, poly mailers. And then right here, I had some custom stickers. I, it took me a while to roll these. I'm not going to unroll them, but they're just plain white stickers with my logo. So they look like this. Um, so I would ship my orders in this and just put the stickers on top to save money. But as I'm growing and as I'm making more, I want my stuff to be a little bit more customized just so it can create an elevated experience. And so that when my customers get their package, they know it's from me. All right. So I also have some bubble wrap that I don't even use. These is my raffle tickets. So when I go to pop-up shops, sometimes I do a raffle if, um... If I have some leftover inventory to give away for free, or if I do an online raffle, then this is what that's for. Um, some extra little, I don't know what these are called, but I barely use those anymore either. This is my tagging gun and the stuff that came with it. These are some wig combs. Put them in the bag. It's about to be time to get some more. And then these are my adjustable bands. I get these off of Amazon. Whew, okay, so that's this side. So let's walk around. Oh gosh, and I can't forget. So I have some my pickup bags over here. We're gonna see if we could fit those into the cart. So on this side, we have my sewing machine and it's covered. Some processing systems, Vagaro and Stripe when I'm using them. Since I'm not in my suite, I'm not using them anymore. So I just have them sitting on my cart. These are my thank you cards that I put in my orders, my business cards and hair tags. And then this is a little organizer that I have to keep um, my markers in. 
Um, got a little edge brush in there. I have my seam cutter for when I'm taking apart wigs in there. Um, I have needles, T-pins. I can't get these out. T-pins and then my measuring, what's these called? Um, measuring tape. So, yeah, before I get started to my um, going over to the cart, I'm going to show you guys how I fit these in here. Half of the majority of these aren't even open because, like, I don't need all of these. But when I do take them out and use them, I'm going to show you how I wrap them back in. Okay. So, let's say I'm taking this out to measure somebody's head or to um, transfer the measurements onto the dome. I do whatever I do, and then to get them to fit perfectly inside of the organizer, just like this. I didn't drop it. I'm going to use this part of my hand. I'm going to hold the inside like this, and I'm just going to wrap it tight around my hand. So for this portion of the video, I'm just going to be stacking everything into my cart and organizing it in like a manner that makes sense. So at the top, I'm going to have my sewing machine stuff and then in the second part, my packaging and then like at the bottom, my cars and um, extra stuff. So you're probably going to see me rearrange the stuff so that it can all fit um, as seamlessly as possible. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions about like a customizing package vendor, just leave me a comment below um, about, or about any other thing that I use. Um, just let me know. I'll leave some details in the comments below. But if you guys enjoy videos like this, please let me know. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned in. Thank you.